My name is Kathy. I'm a Master Gardener in Hamilton County and I'm also a librarian at the Hamilton East Public Library. I'm here today to talk to you about rain barrels and I have a couple different rain barrel setups that I wanted to share with you. Um, my rain barrels I purchased from the Hamilton County Soil and Water Conservation District, which is up in Noblesville. Um, you can buy the rain barrels, they have different colors and, and kind of shapes, and they also have diverter kits that you can buy if you want to. So I'm going to show you a rain barrel with and without a diverter kit. Um, so each one of the communities in Hamilton County also will give you a kind of a rebate if you buy a rain barrel and you show a picture to, sh to prove that you put it up. So this rain barrel ended up um, just costing me $25, which I thought was pretty good. So the way this works is the water comes down my gutter and then it hits this diverter kit and it diverts and it goes into the rain barrel from here. If the rain barrel is full, then the water just goes down the spout and goes out into my yard. And, and how do I use this water? Well, I've got a watering can and it's got a spigot on it. And when I need water, I just come on over here. I turn this little lever and then I've got water for um, watering various things that I want to water. But I'm gonna show you how the rain barrels are set up on the other side of my yard. Come with me. This is the other side of my house. Now here I once again have a gutter coming down, only this time I have two rain barrels set up. And between them, on the spigot of this one, I've got a hose connected to it and the hose comes around and it connects to the spigot on this one. So what happens as they both fill up, they stay the same level and as I'm using them or they're filling up, they go up and down in tandem and that just lets me save even more water and use the space well. You can also see that for my rain barrels, I put them on these nice sturdy um, cement blocks. I put them three rows up so I've got enough height for the water to really flow out. And this is really super easy to do if you've got some cement blocks. Just make sure they're nice and level. The rain barrels when they're full are very, very heavy and you don't wanna risk having one of those fall over on somebody. Um, so just make sure that they're level when you put them up. You've already seen my system and I'd like to show you another more elaborate rain barrel system. So just like mine, there's a rain barrel, um, but a little different. This time the gutter goes right down and pours onto the top of an open rain barrel. Um, so there is a grid on this, but the homeowner realizes they're going to replace this with a grid with finer mesh because debris can get into here and then it's going to start eventually to clog our system. But what's nice is that after this rain barrel fills up, if you take a look inside of here, you can see there's a very large overflow part here and the water will pour out of that and go down this tube underneath the ground. Now, luckily, this is a sloped yard We'll go down the hill, under the ground, and it's a solid point, pipe at that point. And then when it reaches to here, this is actually an intentional swale. This is a newly built permaculture garden, and even though it looks like this just slides straight downhill, there are actually swales that are filled with mulch, and underneath this swale is that pipe. And at this point, it's a perforated tube. Now, if you're wondering what a swale is and why you would want swales in your yard with these big um, divots that are filled with mulch and then a, a berm that you plant on top of, think about when you're out in nature and you walk by a creek. You might be in a completely dry landscape, but you'll notice by that creek, even if it's empty at that moment, there's an abundance of things growing. That's because when the water is there, that um, the things that are planted up on that little um, berm are able to capture all of that water that's soaked in there in past rains. So it's a really great thing to do in your yard. It's very helpful for um, saving your water. You can see what it looks like here. It's a perforated tube with one of those socks on it. And when it rains, this entire swale just fills up under the ground with water. And you can see here, this is actually a berm of soil. And this is where they'll be planting all of their crops. They have a few little things in here, a couple beans and things, but it's early in the season, so not everything's up yet. But eventually, the water will make its way from here and down through the rest of the yard, through the other swales. And what this does is this takes us back to a previous time in the world when there weren't any structures. When you think about it, rain fell from the sky and it just fell onto the ground. But now we've built 
roads and driveways and houses and so much of our water comes down from the sky and gets swept away down our sewers and down our drains in our neighborhoods and it doesn't make its way into the soil. So this way the water slowly moves through this yard before it goes on to the next yard and it can be made good use of before it evaporates or is used in someone else's yard. So when you're putting your rain barrels up you have several choices of how to do it and I would highly recommend in adding a couple rain barrels to your yard. Happy gardening!